Welcome to the show, Mark. So glad to have you here. Hi, Andre. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about your background and your role at Disney. I've been at Disney almost 24 years and all 24 of those years as part of the accessibility and services for guests with disabilities team. Currently, I focus on our services here at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando. Uh, I'm what's known as a CODA, and that stands for Child of Deaf Adults. So both of my parents are deaf. I also have one sibling, his name is Paul, and he is deaf as well. So uh, that's sort of my connection into this work, and of course, my passion around sign language. It's incredible that you used your backstory and knowledge to create accessibility for guests at the parks. What does the process look like for creating sign language for these iconic characters? The goal is to provide just a real great overall experience for all our guests. So for guests with hearing disabilities, we offer sign language interpretation as one of our park offerings. And tied to that, the venues we interpret many times feature Disney characters. So in our effort to ensure that our guests with hearing disabilities Uh, that use ASL want or need to understand kind of what's going on, we've developed a series of signs for those characters who appear in those individual shows. And is the deaf community involved in helping create some of these signs? Yes, the, uh, the deaf community is involved. We have a business employee resource group called Enabled. We also leverage um, sign language interpreters themselves. So it's a combination of all of those groups to ensure that when we develop a particular sign for a character, that it makes sense and is a good representation of that particular character. And these signs, by the way, are generally done in the presence of the character. So the action that's happening on stage is being signed by the interpreters. So those particular characters are a part of the action. Can you teach us a couple of Disney signs? Sure, absolutely, Jenny. I think the first one that we should learn is, of course, wildly popular with our guests is the sign for Mickey Mouse. With all of these character signs that you'll see, we try to leverage something about their appearance. So it makes sense for a child who's deaf and when they see it, they say, yeah, that makes sense, right? For Mickey Mouse, you're gonna make two letter C's And these go kind of on top of your head, like you're putting on a set of mouse ears. See what I'm doing there? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Two times or more, you're just gonna kind of tap your your scalp a little bit with those mouse ears, and then you're gonna say on your mouth, Mickey Mouse. And that's an important part of all of this as you're signing something. It's showing in your face a little bit more definition. So I wanted to show you a sign for Kylo Ren. So you're gonna use that C handshake that we talked about earlier, but this is now going to serve as something that starts up here kind of on your forehead and goes down your face. It's tied to the the type of mask that he wears. So it's, this is Kylo. And then you're gonna hold a lightsaber with two hands and you're gonna go one way and then the other way. So all of that together is Kylo Ren. Hawkeye, he uses a a sort of a bow and arrow, right? So you're basically going to replicate grabbing an arrow and shooting it. That's the sign for Hawkeye. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of grab behind you, right? You pull an arrow out. You're gonna put that arrow in the bow. You're gonna pull the bow back and you're gonna shoot it. Captain Marvel, the sign for Captain is the letter C, which has come up a few times and it actually goes right here on your shoulder. And then for Marvel, we're using the letter M. So if you can see here, it's my index finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger, all kind of draped over my thumb. If you look at it, it almost looks like the letter M. And that is gonna go right here on your chest, right here in the middle of your chest. So you're gonna put both of those together and you're gonna do Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. ASL is is a a long list of vocabulary terms that are just ever changing. So much like English, right? So in ASL, um, there are those signs that are sort of established that the deaf community knows. But some of these newer characters that we've added in more recently, it takes a little bit of time for that like, kind of the word to get out. So the hope is that as guests come and visit our properties and they see a particular character sign, they'll remember that sign. And then when they go back into their local communities, use that sign as they're referencing their visit. So it takes a little bit of time, but yes, there's a slow progress in, in making these signs a bit more established. It is also National Disability Employment Awareness Month where we commemorate the many and varied contributions of people with disabilities to America's workplaces. What is important to you about bringing about an inclusive experience to both guests 
and employees of the Walt Disney Company. We've had inclusion as part of our business for many, many, many years, but more recently we've formally made inclusion a part of that. Obviously, there's a lot of attention and a lot of focus that we're putting on inclusion of all guests. And part of that is focus on our guests who have disabilities and, and being very intentional in ensuring that our offerings and our services um, are inclusive of all of those different groups. I mean, I'm very proud to say that we do um, accessibility really well, and we're always just continuing to try to push the envelope and, and be better because we want to continue to offer more and more for our guests with disabilities. Thank you, Mark, for teaching us these signs. I am honestly inspired to learn more ASL, and thank you for all of your contributions for the disability community and for being on the show. Well, I want to thank both of you, Jenny and Andre, and that's the sign for thank you, is that right there. And thank you for, for allowing me to be a part of your show. Thank you.